Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Flavorful Gourmet. Today, we are going to make sauteed asparagus. Asparagus is a wonderfully nutritious vegetable and very simple and easy to prepare. So, let's get started. So what I have here is just one bunch of asparagus that I've already washed and cleaned. You wanna be sure to rinse your vegetables so that you get off any type of sediment or debris that may have um, grown on the vegetable during the process of harvest or in transport before you purchased it from the supermarket. Another important thing that you wanna do is you wanna take off about one to two inches of the end of your asparagus. This part is very dry, and I'm gonna let you guys see this. So that dryness that's there, you don't wanna eat that because it's very hard, it'll be very tough, stringy, um, and it's not good for you anyway. So just cut off about one to two inches from the bottom of your asparagus and discard that. One little hack that is very easy to do is if you leave the rubber band on, simply chop one to two inches above there and you can keep that in a bundle and it's very easy to just cut it all at once. And I'm just going to use a very large skillet here if you guys can see this, it's pretty large. I'm going to turn my fire to about medium high and I'm going to get a little bit of olive oil in my pan. So about one to two teaspoons, not much. enough to kind of coat the bottom of my pan. Okay, so I think my oil is pretty well heated there. So I'm going to just take my bunch of asparagus and drop that into my skillet. Spread it out. And let that start cooking. This asparagus. I'm going to let that cook for just a few minutes and while that's cooking I'm going to show you what else we'll be using today. So I have just a couple, about three or four large baby portobello mushrooms that I have thinly sliced, one tablespoon of garlic or butter, one small shallot, cut lengthwise. So I'll uh, hold a piece of that up for you all to see. So you just want to cut it so it stays long. And then I have a few garlic cloves. Two to three should be fine. I also have some finely shredded Parmesan cheese. And one fresh lemon. Give my asparagus a toss. Now, because this is popping quite a bit and I just want to reduce the capacity to burn myself from the batter there, I am just going to place a lid on the top of that and it will catch some of the spatter and keep you from being popped as well. So the reason it's popping is because the asparagus did have just a little bit of water after being rinsed. And once the water mixes with the oil, that will cause you to have spatter. Give that a little shake, let it continue to cook. Okay, I'm gonna give my asparagus a stir. I don't want this to burn, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn my fire down to medium instead of medium high. Let that cook for just an, another minute. So in total, I will say that I'm probably sauteing the asparagus for about six to seven minutes. Now, this is to soften the asparagus. Another trick that you can also do is if you have a pot of boiling water, you can blanch the asparagus in the hot boiling water for about three minutes and that will soften it as well. But I don't like to get my asparagus too soggy so that's why I'm only sauteing it because I like mine a bit on the crunchier side. 
Okay, so it's been about another minute. We're gonna stir this again. To this, I'm going to add my one shallot. It's also time to add in the garlic cloves. fresh garlic into your skillet and give it another stir. I'm going to turn my broiler on to high and next I'm going to go ahead and add my sliced portobello mushrooms and my one tablespoon of the herb butter. You can feel free to just go ahead and turn your fire to a low. Now, I like to use garlic herb butter because it does add just a nice bit of flavor there. And as you guys can see, um, the asparagus has pretty much used all of the olive oil that we added in the beginning. Giving it a, a light toss so that the butter gets on all of the asparagus there. This will make a wonderful side dish by itself, or you can <clears throat> have it as is uh, for a nice vegetarian dish. All those pretty colors there. Okay, so now I'm just going to cut my lemon in half while this continues to saute. Okay, so just you want to take your lemon, slice it right in half, and I'm just going to squeeze my lemon right over the top of this asparagus. I'm just using one half of the lemon. And I just give that a squeeze over. The lemon juice adds just a little bit of tanginess, but it pairs well with that garlic herb butter. So if you like a, a scampi sauce, that's what it's very similar to because it's the lemon, the herbs, and the butter coming together. So I've kind of just squeezed that half of the lemon right into the vegetable. Give it a quick stir or toss. <laughs> oh, I lost an asparagus on the floor there, so I'll have to just get it during cleanup. You guys can see all of the wonderful garlic and mushrooms and onions there. Thing that I want to do is just take a little bit of my Parmesan cheese, sprinkle that right over the top of my asparagus. Just, I'm using about two uh, little handfuls there. Okay, now I'm going to just turn my burner off and get my asparagus under the broiler. While that broils, <clears throat> I'm going to tell you a couple of quick facts about asparagus. So asparagus is a very healthy vegetable. It can be eaten raw or cooked. That's one of the many benefits. It's also a very uh, low calorie and low fat food. So if you're dieting, enjoy some asparagus. It's also high in fiber if you need that. 
Um, it's antioxidant rich, especially with vitamin E as well as uh, vitamin C. So who knew you didn't even need a couple of, cup of orange juice, just eat some asparagus for a good bit of vitamin C. If you are trying to conceive or pregnant, it's also high in folate, which will make it very healthy for you. But folate is also great for other uh, bodily processes such as DNA and cell growth development. And asparagus is also high in vitamin K. And vitamin K is an essential nutrient for the blood clotting process um, as well as for bone health. So now you have a few fun facts about asparagus. I think that's been about one to two minutes, so let's check our broiler. This looks absolutely perfect. So there is our asparagus, made with fresh asparagus. Now that handle is hot. We use some portobello mushrooms, shallot. I'm just gonna move this closer to the camera so you can see how wonderfully our Parmesan cheese just kind of melted there. We also use lemon juice, garlic, olive oil, and herb butter. If you notice, I didn't add any salt into this recipe. And that's simply because I am cutting back. But if you want, you can feel free to add a little bit of salt to, to your taste. So, happy cooking. Enjoy your freshly made asparagus with mushrooms, shallots, as well as a little bit of Parmesan cheese and other wonderful yummy ingredients. If you like this recipe, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and check, check it out along with others on my website, theflavorfulgourmet.com. Thanks.